Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your SIM dashboard correctly for PC and also your tablet. And this time I'm going to do it a little bit better and try to explain a little bit better. And on my tablet I have a screen recorder so that it can actually show a little bit more detail than holding the phone up to it and make it blurry and go for that mess. Don't mind all this. This is this uh, 3D print stuff that I'm 3D printing. Maybe you can't hear it in the background. <laughs> so anyway, so here's the SIM dashboard you can get for your phone or your tablet for your Android app. They also have it for your uh, what is it called? Apple Store, I think is what's called. So you have it for your um, tablets. But later on, I'm going to be getting a little bit bigger tablet. That way, I can actually have a little bit bigger screen. And you just click here. You can install it right here on your device right now if it's connected to your Google, which mine is. My tablet and my phone is. But now you do. And then uh, you just look up Sim Dashboard, which I put both links in description for you guys. Uh, I don't know what it's for. Apple Play because I really don't know if it's Apple Play or what it is anymore. I uh, haven't had an iPod since 2013 or 14, so it was somewhere in that area. So I really don't remember what it was. But here you can use it for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, all that good stuff that it says here. So. Don't know how it worked on the Xbox. I don't know, or the PS4. I really don't know. But once you get to get that installed on your tablet, I'll show you guys how to set it up properly from there. And all you do is just download it like this, and then of course my computer is always doing that. And you just do that. Ooh, and sigh. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to show you guys what to do once you open it up. I will say next. And you just click next. Where you want to install it, click next, and all that stuff. And then once it's done, yes, because I already have it. Once it's done, it'll be right there. And then you click on, double click on it. And then you wait until it pops up. Oh, new version of it, huh? Click update real quickly. Ooh, F1. Ooh. Right, I was reading that. Well, I guess I get to show you what to do then. So, okay, I'm going to create everything and allow it. Click install. I'm gonna pause it real quickly and pick up with you guys once this is done. Okay, now she's done. Now you just hit launch, click finish. It should pop up here. If it does pop up, it usually has a small icon. Yep. And then you just click on it and then you hit show. And then you can see everything right there. This is what it looks like. And you can see where it says games. So these are different games you can have. Devices. And I'll show you how to do, manually add it to your computer. It's pretty simple, really easy. You can do it over USB, where you have it plugged into your USB port on your computer. And you can have your tablet and computer hooked up that way, or Wi-Fi, which is mine's over the Wi-Fi. I'll still show you how to do it. Simple dashboards. Now I do 
recommend upgrading to the Pro, I think. It's like a one time payment. Don't have to ever pay for it again. So I'm going to jump into there and show you guys the main, the rest of it. Now I'm going to show you how to do this on your tablet. It's really simple. I still have it, uh, the SIM desk board on my computer that is showing. Okay, SIM board was updated. You just click OK. And it will say American Truck SIM are not running, which is OK, because I don't have the game running. Once you do, then it will work. To make this the gauges work and everything, uh, you just leave the SIM desk board on the PC, make sure it's running uh, properly. It means it's just running in the back and background. It won't nothing. And then to make this work, come down here. Okay, I think I was like 13 bucks. It could be a little bit cheaper now. And then you hit uh, settings. I paid for it, so that's why I have the green pro activated. That way you can get more uh, access to dashboards and I'll show you guys that in a second. So you go to settings. Uh, set up your PC. That's all you do. You can change some stuff in here if you wanted to. Like from uh, but for now we're going to do this. Set up your PC. You click next. Uh, do the Wi-Fi or USB. This mine's over Wi-Fi. Click next. Next again. Uh, automatic setup. Next. And then you see my desktop is or your desktop. You just click on it. Click next. And right now it's just in server. But you don't have to worry about that because it's right there. And yeah, understood. Game configuration, hit OK, then hit finish, and that's it. Done. And then that's all you do. And then you go to units, and then you can do like your stuff unit for speed, mile per hour, current height, PSI, like all that good stuff. That way everything is correct for you in this one. And then once that's done, pick a blank canvas. So let's do Aero Truck Simulator 2 because I don't, yeah, it's empty. So I don't have anything like that. Okay, I do have one for Aero Truck. I didn't know that. I'm going to hit Delete Design because we're going to do this all fresh. And from here, this is really easy. So you got that little pencil icon, you click on the pencil, then a little plus at the bottom. And you will hit the add install widget, or however it says. And then you have new designs, you can create your own, or you can browse templates. Which is just stock uh, templates that the game has. Or, let's that one up. Or say like you want to don't like built-in stuff they have. I'm up to this device community. Once you have the pro activated, just hit community, and then at that the map is the only thing that can't track you. It's, in my opinion, that sucks. That'd be really cool. I don't even know what I had. So this is kind of hard to see but you have your gauges yeah this is like American truck simulator and all the functions should work no problem you can set it up to have the functions do different things I actually like that I don't really care for the map oh, that's pretty cool But I'm going to go for this one because that way I can see how we were my distance is at and everything else like that. 
and how many miles I have to go. So that's all you do is hit install, then you wait. And when it's done, it will lose no design contain but inbox buttons, make sure to update them. And you said okay. Now it's done. Now you can hit select your map. And you can see there are B10, B3, or B2. Which I don't know which is what, but I'm gonna go version B2 or B10. And this should be. I got different ones too. But once you pick a map, it will show automatically what it is. It's done. And now we just click off the side of the screen. And you can see everything's working now. So like you got your function buttons will work. The gauges will work. And to make this red top, just double tap on your screen. Or double tap, sorry. And everything go bigger. But you can find uh, English ones and stuff like that as well. Or, I mean, miles per hour. So that's all you do. You can hit full screen too as well, or you can just double click on the screen and it'll pop back up like that. And then you just scroll, hit the little button like that. Close it out. That's it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully this helps you out, and have fun trucking.